Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am doing something very exciting. I am going to reorganize my bookshelf and bring in my book cart. So, oh my god. Oh, it's heavy. I can't even see it. Okay. I have my big cart here. Don't worry, I'll show y'all in a second. So yes, I brought my book cart over here from my dad's house and I have to get all of my books that I have not read onto my cart because this is going to be like my TBR cart. So, a a lot of these books on my bookshelf I haven't read yet not a lot we'll see I think I'm not gonna do all of them I'm just gonna do the ones that I am wanting to read soon to kind of make it to where I don't have so many books on my book cart and then no books on my bookshelf because I don't know I just feel like a lot of them I haven't read but we'll see I just don't want my bookshelf to look super empty that's my biggest worry with it yeah I'm gonna just make this a TBR cart so I can start doing TBR jar videos and actually Actually picking a TBR so let's try and <laughs> figure this out let's do this together okay I feel like you can now see everything hopefully not my messy room as well let's just go ahead and pick some of the books off that I know I want to be on my TBR cart that would include all of my romance books I have two Abby Jimenez books actually I'm not sure if I really want to read this soon definitely want to read these soon the bodyguard soon love in other words by a thread. Those are the ones I feel like that have been on my TBR for a while. The other like romance books kind of newer kind of ones that aren't piquing my interest at all recently i hope that's okay to do it like that i feel like that might be cheating a little bit but we'll just see we'll see the fantasy shelf down here i definitely want to read powerless soon one for my enemy i'm thinking not iron flame anytime soon probably just keep it with fourth wing and then to lessen it a little bit i'm only gonna put the first in a series so i'm gonna get out divine rivals because i definitely want to read this soon and then I'm only gonna get out Once Upon a Broken Heart just because obviously I'm not gonna pick the second in a series for my TBR drawer at any point if I haven't read the first one. So I'm just gonna put the first one in the series and then kind of just move these down. It looks so bare now. And then I also have One Dark Window that I definitely want to read soon. So I have the second one too but obviously I'm only putting the first one in there. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow I want to read this soon. <laughs> Might just put the Hunger Games series on it for when I'm feeling that, but who knows when that will be. Definitely not reading any Sarah J Mass. Oh, I need to put this on there. Also, A Court of Thorns and Roses, but I want to make sure I read this series because that one's the one that people say to read first. So I want to read this series before I read like any of the other ones by her. So I'm going to keep all the other ones that I have by her on my shelf. All of these I've read. None of those I really want to read anytime soon. This book I want to read semi soon which is the world that we knew by alice hoffman alice hoffman actually wrote practical magic if y'all know that little series this is like a historical fiction book and it also has like i don't know i guess you'd say like magical realism and it's set during the time of the holocaust i definitely want to read this soon look at us we're like these both faces i'm not gonna put any of my magnolia parks on there because obviously they're gorgeous i can't separate them i just can't do it then she was gone i've had this book for a while i actually got it for free from my aunt so yeah at some point i want to read this i've heard good things about it i just haven't really been in like a dark thriller mystery mood in a while i've been trying to focus more on fantasy reads honestly this will be good for when i'm feeling that more the last book that i'm gonna put on the tbr cart is as good as dead by holly jackson i <laughs> read the first two a year ago two years ago just hadn't picked it back up i actually like rented it on my kindle to just like read on my kindle instead of picking up the physical book and i read like maybe a chapter and i just wasn't feeling it because i'm just not in that mood but the other book that i really want to read by her is five survive i've heard really good things about that yeah there's so many thriller books that i actually really want to read it's just i haven't been in the mood to actually read them i'm gonna put this on the tbr cart because i definitely want to to read it when I'm in that mood. Okay, so this is not as bad as I thought at all. I still have a lot of books. I mean, obviously, these aren't all the books. Like, this series. Maybe I'll read this at some point. This is another box set I also got at Books A Million for really cheap, and I love these covers for some reason. Let's see if I can get it out. Okay, so I can't. <laughs> I can't get it out, actually. But look, these are all the covers right here. Aren't they cute? 
I think they're so cute and like beachy and fun and spring and summer time vibes. I'm actually going on a cruise and last year when I went on a cruise, I brought an Ellen Hildenbrand book with me. So maybe I'll read this at that point. Not sure. I definitely still have books on here that I haven't read, but I have a whole bunch on my TBR that I'm gonna put on my TBR part that are books that I wanna read soon. Definitely getting it down more organized. Switch the angle so it's mainly my TBR cart in the frame. I also have some on here that I probably don't want immediately on here, like the Twilight series. Haven't really been in the mood for this in a little while, so I'll probably just put that on my shelves for more when I'm feeling it. Why do I feel like I'm cheating at this? TBR cart. I feel like I'm not doing this correctly, but you know what? I'm doing it my own way, okay? So these are two books. This is a self-help book and then Hidden Figures, which I do want to read at some point. I've heard really good things about it, but it's just not piqued my interest and it has in a while, so not gonna focus on that. I think it's just because I have so many books on my TBR that it's not like I can put them all on the shelf. So I'm gonna put all of my box set books at the bottom, I think. So I have the Winter in Paradise, I think it's called series down there. And then I also have the whole box set of the Naturals series, which I want to read so bad. So hopefully I'll be able to read that soon. And then I'll put my box set of the Hunger Games on there as well. So it's nice and neat. All my box sets down there. Hopefully you can see it. I can't tell. This is another book that I'm not super interested in. Maybe the ones that like I have a higher chance of being interested in them like soon. I'll put them like on my first shelf up here. Maybe I'll just put them up there maybe. This is a work in progress like this book. The Messy Loves a Book People. <laughs> No excuses, I just haven't wanted to read it. Also, The Newcomer, I just have not wanted to read this. I honestly have seen the audiobook of this and I might do the audiobook at some point so I can get it off of my TBR because this was really cheap at Books A Million one time and I was like, oh, well, pick that up, looks good. And then I just never wanted to pick it up. Another book that I have is A Curse For True Love. This is the third one in the Once Upon A Time series. But I'm gonna put this on my shelf. I'm getting so hot during this, I was not expecting to be this hot. So I feel like all my cute little romances should go in a section and then have another section for like fantasy and like everything else. It's mainly romance and fantasy, I feel. The Rehearsals, another one. I haven't wanted to read like that in a while. These are like books from two years ago that I just haven't wanted to get to. It's so sad, but I just haven't. This book, on the other hand, I've had this for quite of a while, I think I got, maybe I had this last Christmas. But every time I look at this, I'm like, yeah, I wanna read this. But I just never actually pick it up. This going on my TBR for sure. The Assassin's Blade. Definitely going, no, I can't put it on my TBR card because I'm not gonna read it right now. As I said, I have to read Akatar first. I'm just gonna put that with the other Throne of Glass books that I have acquired. If you guys have a Books A Million near you, go to your Books A Million because they have discounted books that are perfectly fine. It's not like they're damaged or anything. I'm not sure why they do it. I think maybe they like get too many sometimes or like I don't know but two of the Throne of Glass books was in there and I found like the Hunger Games. I found so many good books looking in the discounted section. Don't miss out on that because for real there's some actual good books there. Let's go back to my TBR cart though. All right let's see maybe I'll put all my romance here because I think probably have the most romance. I'm not gonna put both of my Abby Jimenez books on here because this one's the first. They're interconnected standalones I think but technically this one's the first in the the series so I'm gonna put the first one on there and then I also have the bodyguard I really want to get to this soon I've heard really great things about it maybe meant to be I really like this author K.L. Walther I really like her young adult romances so I hope I can get to this at some point two of my other romances love in other words by a thread you look how pretty they are I love the romance covers always I don't know if never will fit down here and this cover genuinely all of her covers Jessa Hastings has the best covers this is the most beautiful thing that I've ever seen. This is art. Haven't heard the best things about this, but I have it and I love Jessa, so I definitely want to read it and maybe the second one will be better. <laughs> have The Hating Game, which obviously OG book talk book. Still haven't read it. Got this for Christmas as well last year, I think. And I really want to read this. When I'm in a romance mood, hopefully I can go to this section and pick up a good one. Probably gonna have to put all my hardcovers on the top just because they're like longer. So we got Once Upon a Broken Heart, Divine Rivals. I literally have a bookmark in one 
once upon a broken heart. I feel like that's how my bookmarks disappear because I'll put bookmarks in books and then I'll realize that I don't want to read it right now. So then it'll get lost. I have one for my enemy, which I want to read all of the Blake books so bad. Serpents in the Wings of the Night. I have so many different series, but I really do want to read this. And then Powerless, obviously. I also have Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow. I've already showed these, but Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow. I really want to read that so soon. Look how pretty it is. I feel like I need to put more books on it. <laughs> so Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow is literary fiction. Fantasy, obviously. Is this historical fantasy? Maybe I'll just put that up there. These are all of the thriller mysteries. And then this is another romance, Archer's Voice. Not read that. Really want to read it. And then One Dark Window. Put it up here with the fantasy. Okay. I really like the way this is looking. Uh, I'm going to add Funny You Should Ask. I was really wanting to read this when Rachel Catherine read it. She read it not too long ago. and Or she read the second one in the series not too long ago and really liked it. Or the second one by this author. And yeah, I was like, oh, she really likes it. Maybe I will too. And it's short and sweet. It's like, why haven't I put it, picked it up? But I haven't. So maybe I'll put this here. Fits perfectly. Love it. Yeah, I think that's good for now. Now I got a full TBR cart. I need to read green lights. I love this. I think it looks so good. Uh, I love how I don't have any room for any decorations. I was gonna put like a plant on here, but it's really filled up already. Let's count my TBR together. This plus everything on my bookshelf that I haven't read. Everything. No matter what it is. Everything. That's so satisfying. Okay, there is one book up on my little shelf that's like got dirty. <laughs> like dirty, I can't, like I can't, I can't, I can't read it. Got bugs all over it anyway. But that doesn't count really because I'm not, I have to get a new copy of it anyway. But yeah, 70, 70 books. This is great. I love my book cart. I'm not sure really where I'm gonna put it. I was gonna just stick it right here by my bookshelf. But my mom said that it looks messy. So <laughs> I have it, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. But I love this. I feel so satisfied. This is just bringing so much joy looking at all these books that I'm so excited to read and that was the point because I didn't want to take everything off and there'll be books that like I'm not as excited to read so my plan is to read books off of this and then slowly move some of the ones that are still on my bookshelf off of my bookshelf and while I'm you know picking my TBR I can still pick some from my bookshelf if I want to if I'm feeling that book these are the ones that I'm most excited to read at the moment so I want to have them all together, pretty, gorgeous. Yeah, I have 70 books on my TBR. I'm not even going to read 70 books this year. Okay, I can be more positive. Maybe I will read 70 books. Probably won't, but maybe I will. Thank you guys for coming with me while I put together my TBR cart. I've been wanting to do this for so long, and this just makes me so happy seeing all the books that I want to read soon. All in one place, all neat and organized, and I'm so excited to get to them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!